Kingdom Hall. Hi. Um, I was just doing some uh, phone witnessing. Do you have a minute? Sure. Cool. Can I share a scripture with you? This is a Kingdom Hall. Oh, well, I don't mind. <laughs> Who's this calling? Christine. Christine. Yeah, um, do you have a minute? Yeah. Where are you calling from? From my house. This is a, you just called the Kingdom Hall. Oh, well, I don't, I don't discriminate or anything. Well, that's good. <laughs> so anyways, <clears throat> this verse I like to share, I usually like to ask a thought question about it, and the question is, are you going to see the Kingdom of God? I think the kingdom of God's in our heart. Okay. Well, are you going to see the kingdom of God? I can't see it if it's in my heart. Okay. Well, um, well, you're just pulling my leg now. <laughs> I would think, <laughs> I mean, I hope to see the kingdom of God. I'm a Christian. I hope to see the kingdom of God. Most people say yes. They do want to. Uh-huh. You realize you called a kingdom hall. Yeah, yeah, you guys like talking about the Bible, don't you? Yeah. So, yeah, don't don't you hope to see the kingdom of God? I think don't witnesses talk about it a lot? So, <laughs> who who are you? Christine. From what organization? Organization? You mean Yeah. You mean did I join something like What what religion are you? Oh, I fellowship with other Christians at Calvary Chapel, but um yeah, I never heard it called an organization, so I just kind of confused. Oh, uh, okay. So, so we do the same form of witnessing. We're Job's witnesses, so we do mm-hmm. the same thing as you're mm-hmm. doing. Yeah. So, so yeah, it, uh, um, are you going to see the kingdom of God? It's already existing. I okay. thought it was an. I thought it was another witness calling, playing a, a joke. Oh, <laughs> that would be a good one. <laughs> So anyways, well, the verse I wanted to share is John 3, 3, where Jesus said, Most truly, I say to you, unless anyone is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So are you born again? No. So, um, So you won't see the kingdom of God then, according to Jesus? Not not ruling in heaven with Christ. But he doesn't the, say the ruling in heaven with Christ. He said, see the kingdom of God. It's a much more broad expression. He doesn't mention that. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's kind of interesting. He says, unless anyone, he uses the word anyone. I wonder why, why he would use that if it's only for a few people. Okay, excuse me a second. I have to get something out of my car. I have girls waiting for me. Oh, okay. Here. Don't want to interrupt. A great website is called jwinform.com. And thanks for talking. Okay. God mm-hmm. bless. Bye. Mm-hmm. Hello, Kim. Oh, hi. Um, I just had a quick question. I was wondering if someone could help me with. Uh-huh. Do you have a minute? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, well, I was looking at um, the the website. Um, uh-huh. JW.org, is that the the one? Right. Uh-huh. So they have this section there called Beliefs Clarified. I was kind of looking through that. Have you ever seen that? Um, actually, no, I haven't seen that. Oh, it, uh-huh. you should see it. It's um, If you go to this part uh, called the Online Library, Watchtower Online Library, do you know how to find that? Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So uh-huh. just type in Beliefs Clarified and it comes up. And so <laughs> it shows year by year all the wrong things they've taught over the years. Uh, it's a very long list. It has one for more recent times, like 1986 to 2019, and then um, from the earlier time as well. But um, I was just, they use a lot of expressions when they're talking about these former teachings. Um, like one thing they call it is a previous understanding. Um, so I'm, I'm really confused about that because, um, I read in other places about the current teachings 
And, and I know they taught this back then, too, that what they teach is called the truth, and it's actually revealed by Jehovah through his son Jesus and the slave. And mm-hmm. so to call it a previous understanding, or even they use the expression a mistaken idea, it's kind of just trying to suggest that they were just putting it forth as a, you know, a thought, or as they were, as if though they were just some person talking to their friend, you know, oh, I had this mistaken idea. When actually they were preaching it all around the world in print, as coming from Jehovah. So I just, and it's. Are it's, you really wanting to know about yes, this? Yes, yes. It's so I, I'm no, confused it's, by it. No, it's just that. Uh, as they studied the Bible and become more clear with comparing different scriptures throughout the Bible, come to a, an understanding that are uh, that that was incorrect the way that they had believed before, and so. So I guess it wasn't uh, couldn't have been from Jehovah then, like they claimed it was at the time. I mean, when you just read even oh. from beginning with Russell, he said these are God's dates, mm-hmm. not ours. Okay. Hold on just a second, yeah, please. Yeah, sure. Sorry, I'm not able to talk to you right now. Bye. Oh, okay, God bless you. Kingdom Hall. Hi, um, I just had a Bible question I was wondering if someone could help me with. Okay. Um, do you have a minute? Okay, uh, yeah, I've got to do something here in just a minute, but let me give you the, get, uh, get somebody that might be able to help you. Thank you. Uh, just, just a second. Hello, this is Jill. Hi, um, I'm Christine. I just had a Bible question. I was wondering what your thoughts were on it. Um, sure, I can try. Okay. It's um, Colossians 3, 1 through 4. Uh-huh. Um, Let me look that okay. up real quick. Thanks. What you're looking at. Thanks. Okay. Do you want to read it? I'm reading that right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, while well, I'm looking at the New King James here, um, what's your what's your thought on it? What is all that? thought on Colossians? Yeah, Colossians chapter 3, the, the verses we're talking about. I mean, what does it mean to be that you died? I mean, he's talking to people that are living. For you died and you were raised with Christ. Um, well, what's he talking about? Well, if you look at the context in, in Colossians, he mm-hmm. was actually talking to anointed Christians. And so, talking about the hope, the heavenly hope for those that are anointed. Mm-hmm. Would you like to get together? Um, oh, to have a, no, a I, no, I, I just wanted to see um, what your thought was on this. So um, would, would by implication then um, the whole, most of the whole New Testament really not be implying to you? Um, no, not at all. I don't believe that at all. Um, may I ask what faith you're in? Um, well, I'd, I'd rather talk about Colossians 3. I mean, I am, I am a Bible reader, too. So, uh-huh. um, yeah. so you don't... Okay, so, well, really, if you're talking about um, born-again Christians or um, Christians Are you that, a born-again Christian? I'm sorry. Oh, well, I, I, don't, I know that you kind of use that term in a negative way, like born-againer. So I don't, I don't really... Oh, no, it, I don't Oh, use oh, that oh okay, because lots yeah. of witnesses talk like that. But anyways, um, how, why do you think that, that 
Where does it talk about another kind of Christian that's that's not um, in Christ? Bible. So that's not in okay. Christ or so the Bible actually talks about anointed Christians and it talks about those with an earthly hope. Yeah, uh, where does it, okay. can you explain how you get that, the earthly hope thing? That, because that has so okay. many implications, not not okay. just destination. Um, it and would imply that you're not even a child of God. Okay. I understand you're calling to ask a question. Yeah. But I think you're more calling to make a point than ask a question. And that's fine. If you'd like to get together and, and discuss in depth, I'd have to together with you oh well no thank you i just wanted to see where where are you getting that that there's another kind of christians that are not uh, never in i never Christ. said that never no one believes that here so i don't know where you got that well but, but jill by implication though you're saying that these things that you were not you did not die with christ and are raised with him it talks about that in Romans chapter 6 as well, in Colossians yeah, chapter 2. He was talking to those anointed. Yeah. If you're not raised, okay. died and raised with Christ, then you're still what the Bible calls in Adam or dead in trespasses and sins because the Bible presents that as, as connected with new life in Christ and forgiveness of sins. Okay. It says otherwise, yeah, you were formerly you. dead in trespasses. <laughs> Hi, um, I just had a quick question I was wondering if someone could help me with. Okay. Um, well, I was really surprised today to hear about the news about um, a Jehovah's Witness elder was um, arrested and fined um, 80 years in prison um, mm -hmm. for being a pedophile. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, that was in Arkansas yesterday. Uh, but at the same time, I was reading in the JW website that elders are appointed by Jehovah. Yes. Okay. So, how could that be possible? Okay. I can get your number and I can reach out to you if you don't mind. Um, no, no, I... I, I just wanted to know what your thought was on that real quick. Well, of course, um, we strictly adhere to the Bible as far as one's actions. Uh, um, I don't know if the, the other account you're referring to is is true as far as in the news and whatnot. Yeah, his name yeah. is Roderick Watkins. It's in Arkansas. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we don't, we don't, yeah, we they take action against that, and we, they call it authorities. And but it's like anything that's uh, they handle as quickly as we can because we don't we don't hide they don't hide stuff like that. Well, no um, actually, in the in the real world and in many of the court cases and you know fines they have paid out, really some of them in the millions of dollars. Um, it has been concluded that actually they do, based on the two witness rule, that it's not even looked into unless there was two witnesses. That's in the elders manual, and they have stated they will never change it. Uh, uh, one of your mm -hmm. leaders came out and said they will never change it. Um, have, and also, it's also odd how they don't inform the witnesses of these things that are going on, uh, things that are getting... Uh, national attention, they're getting to be thought of as very similar to the Catholic Church with their problems. Um, and uh, it's very hypocritical that if you search Catholic check sexual abuse or pedophiles on the online library, tons of articles come up. They used to really hammer on that. And in their sections called uh, legal section or news, there isn't anything about their court cases or even the Australia Royal Commission, which your governing body member testified at under oath. Why do you that's, think that is, crazy. if they're not hiding anything? Why do you guys not even really know much about what's going on? Uh, we do. We, just, oh, okay. we have our lawyers. No, I mean the, the, the members. I mean the members. Like, for example, do you know about the Australia Royal Commission on Child Sexual Abuse? Yeah. 
He asked that to remember where you get your source from. Do you realize what the terminology apostate is? Again, they have posted <laughs> tons of articles on the Catholic Church sexual abuse using the media. So for you all to say it's fake news if it's about the Watchtower <laughs> is extremely hypocritical. They should remove all those articles, too, if, you, if they're going to engender suspicion about the media, media sources. So for the Australia Royal Commission, you can either watch videos of the whole proceeding, which are online, or you can read the official government transcript, and you can see what Jeffrey Jackson said while under oath. Now, that would be a good way to inform yourself so you don't look so, um, you know, isolated when someone's trying to talk to you about it. Yeah, well, I'll get with our lawyers, and uh, if you have any questions, you can always... No, I mean you, personally. Could I send you some of the links? Hello? 